Good Tuesday afternoon everybody. Continue to watch the tropics and here is our latest video update on the two systems still churning out here in uh, the uh, basin. We still have Praparoon which thank thankfully have weakened to a tropical storm and the other one is tropical storm Maria moving northward and uh, actually just passing west of the uh, Ogasawara Islands today. We begin first with the uh, Praparoon which is now a severe tropical storm still inside the Filipino responsibility so we still have that local name of Nina by Pagasa system was last located at approximately 830 kilometers east northeast of Basco Batanes or about 530 uh, kilometers south southeast of Okinawa maximum sustained winds are now down to 110 kilometers per hour with gusts of up to 155 system is moving west southwestward at 15 kilometers per hour and again system continues to meander in this region a very tough system really to forecast and to really get a good handle uh, we continue to see shifts major shifts along the among the computer models and even the, the forecast agencies with regards to the forecast track for the system uh, again the system continues to meander again in this region which has a weak steering environment and as for the system itself you may notice the eye is no longer well developed actually the system looks asymmetrical with much of the convection remaining along the southern periphery of the system the northern half as you've noticed yesterday uh, is exhibiting weakening uh, convection now this is a pretty good satellite visible satellite shot because it actually captures the two systems we're going to talk about today this is proper and here we have tropical storm maria we'll have more on that system later on but First, you go back to proper, and here is the convec uh, the infrared image, and again showing you very weak, very fragmented convective activity compared to the f past few days. Again, much of the activity is now uh, confined along the uh, southern periphery of the system. We're noticing some dry air wrapping around the system based on this uh, microwave image, and also, and you can see that banding now very weak, and uh, again confined the south of the system the low level circulation center is still pretty well established still a pretty strong tropical storm um, and it could still be a, be a threat for the Ryukyu Islands in the coming days and speaking of the coming days forecast again continue to bring the system southwestward and eventually recurve to the northwest northeast and uh, moving quickly away in uh, the uh, early part of next week but again uh, we forecast we expect the system to meander in this region just uh, along the uh, northern portions of the Philippine air responsibility for at least another two days uh, could pass just east of again could be passing between Okinawa and Daito Islands perhaps by Thursday or Friday as a tropical storm again by Saturday should start to accelerate and recurve to the northeast if you look at the uh, computer uh, forecast agencies beginning with the joint typhoon warning center and forecast showing that same idea uh, moving northward and quickly accelerating to the northeast again passing east of Kadena, east of Okinawa uh, probably around uh, 250 to 300 kilometers east of the island uh, by Wednesday or Thursday as a tropical storm and then continue to move quickly to the northeast passing well south of the mainland uh, mainland Japan and we have here Japan Meteorological Agency's forecast and showing very similar forecast track the Joint Typhoon Warning Center expecting this to start recurving to the north in the next uh, 24 to 48 hours passing between Okinawa and Daito perhaps by Thursday evening and quickly moving to the northeast as we head into Friday and the uh, weekend also expecting the system to remain a tropical storm not going to be intensifying anymore because again of the dry uh, dry air and also the increasing vertical wind shear in this region now looking at the steering uh, layer here with the streamline analysis uh, showing you we have proper it is being steered right now I again it is actually confined in a somewhat weak steering environment between these two tropical uh, subtropical ridge we have the subtropical ridge over the north pacific which is being weakened by tropical storm maria so this ridge is not as dominant 
as say this ridge over China which is somewhat influencing Prapun to move slowly to the southwest. However, we have a trough diving in now over eastern China. This will quickly move eastward, produce a weakness in this region allowing Prapun to eventually turn to the north and this trough will eventually pick the system up coupled with the subtropical ridge intensifying or strengthening in the next two days so that clockwise circulation will allow or it will will steer uh, proper and quickly to the northeast but for now we expect that s this system to remain in this region for at least another two to even three days um, still south of Okinawa but we expect those uh, rains and even some gusty winds to begin impacting the rest of the Ryukus in the next 48 to 72 hours and finally we have tropical severe tropical storm um, or yet the other tropical storm here in the western pacific moving west of the uh, Ogasawara Islands or the Bonin Islands that's located approximately 90 kilometers east of Chichijima which is the largest island here or about 960 kilometers uh, south southeast of uh, Tokyo uh, Japan maximum sustained winds are still at 95 kilometers per hour with gusts up to 130 system is moving quickly northward at 25 kilometers per hour and again seeing some ample convective activity um, especially along the uh, s uh, core of the system and also again with the uh, system moving west of the Ogasawara Islands they are currently experiencing occasional heavy rains and also gusty winds and even rough surf in fact when the system moved very near Iwoto earlier this morning the airport there recorded sustained winds of as high as 75 kilometers per hour with occasional gusts of up to 100 kilometers per hour so the system did pack punch when it moved across Iwoto right now reports across Ogasawara Islands are right around 30 to 60 kilometers per hour sustained with gusts of up to 80 kilometers uh, per hour or so rainfall amounts since this morning have generally been around 30 to 50 millimeters we expect another 30 or even 50 millimeters in the next six hours but since the system is quickly moving to the north we expect the weather here to eventually uh, get better as we move into the evening hours and into uh, tomorrow and Maria is being steered by the subtropical ridge over the northern Pacific and this system will follow that uh, generally clockwise circulation here so by beginning tomorrow this system should turn uh, to the northeast and will accelerate along the way will be passing well south of Honshu so not really a big threat here uh, obviously some big waves could be churned up uh, right along the uh, eastern and southern coast but other than that um, nothing too much in terms of stormy conditions Japan Meteorological Agency also forecasting this to turn northeastward in the next 24 hours accelerating and moving away from Japan into the northern Pacific and perhaps become an extra tropical cyclone as we move into Thursday or Friday not gonna be a threat anymore but for now Rain and winds will continue for the Ogasawara uh, Islands. And before we end our video update, we can take a look at the uh, Western Pacific here. We have Prapu and Maria, and also the disturbance that we've mentioned yesterday, Invest 91W, moving across the uh, eastern Micronesia today. System has weakened actually, and computer models thankfully have backed off in showing a significant tropical cyclone. Nevertheless, the system is still still here, energy is still here, so we continue to watch this disturbance as it propagates westward. Although it is since it is very near the equator, we don't really expect any significant formation or development to happen very soon. But uh, either way, we'll continue to watch the system as it could uh, play a vital role and could even threaten some areas here uh, in the Philippines as we move into the early part of next week so still pretty early for that obviously but something to definitely keep watch but that is our update for today thank you for watching continue to check out our blog and also westernpacificweather.com for the latest updates and also the uh, official forecast agencies we have their links in our video description below stay safe guys